you. I really enjoy it. Thank you. Yes. We're both yeah. little vamps. Sorry. Oh, I know. I know. That's Is everyone sitting on the edge of their seats? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. This being lost for so long. Now she's home. Yeah. Art is an expression of the beauty of Christ. You look at Christianity, the architecture of our churches, the stained glass windows, music, representation of the saints. Through art, we can experience our connection to God on a different level. Church is a place where art and artists should thrive. I hope the following piece not only engages you, but inspires you. We were in constant communication with Bishop Gutierrez through the whole process and his vision of the restoration of this closure was to resort back to as close as it could be to its original condition and the intent of its creator. The crook was the, the main part that needed a lot of the work. There's this formed lip that was bulging from where when it fell and got knocked over, it had split from that. So that involved heating up that solder to pop that piece off so that I could reform it and get it flush to sit up against the base of what starts to crook. Once that was flushed up, then it was getting the crook, which was bent in a few directions, to straighten that back out. Then it was removing the enamel from the shield. To get the enamel off, I soaked it in hydrofluoric acid which dissolves glass, but not metal. The miter tassel was put on with one of the tassels backwards and like totally flipped around. Diana is a very skilled jewelry worker, so she was in charge of reversing the tassel and getting it into the correct orientation based on the, the photograph. And in the miter, there was, on the sides, there's these little balls, alternating sizes, a bigger one and a smaller one, bigger one, smaller one. And some of those were missing. So I took 1 16th brass brazing rods and just hit the tip of it with a torch so it melted in on itself and created a little perfect ball. And then I used those to re-solder back in to replace the missing balls on the miter. Then it was just putting everything back together starting with the shield and brazing that in. And then once that was in, then it was getting the miter put back in and brazing that on the tassel bottoms to the top of the shield and then the corner of each tassel to the crook. At the top of the miter, there was two crosses on each side. And so those got brazed there as well. And then it was putting the plates back onto the bottom, stirring that back in, and then re-soldering the four corners to make it really secure. There was a lot of buildup of polishing compound and, and, and dirt from the past. So it was polishing that up and then removing any other extra compound residuals and such to make it really clean and polished pure copper, which is what it was made from and then the plating process happened. First, coating the entire thing with nickel, doing a nickel plating on everything. And then after the nickel plating was done, then going in and doing the 24 karat gold plating. We focused the camera specifically on the words et iude um, on the staff in Latin uh, for the bishop's son, Jude. So we thought he would really enjoy seeing the name of his son being transformed into gold, into pure gold. This being lost for so long. Now she's home. Yeah. Oh. Oh.
That is beautiful. Look at that. It's worthy of the diocese. Isn't it gorgeous? This is amazing. 